How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about ChargePoint, which was down on the Friday around 0.58%. So pretty much flat. I want to make sure you guys are prepared for this coming week. I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder, you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're gonna go over is a technical analysis. We're gonna be taking a look at the overall price action. We wanna know support, we wanna know resistance, we wanna know what it looks like in the bearish case scenario and as well as in the bullish case scenario. And then we're gonna be going on Fintel, taking a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information. The reason why this is important because it does have an impact on the way the stock performs. And then we're gonna be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We wanna know the buying and the selling behavior on the retail side, and as well as on the institutional side. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts, and as well as some more details, so let's get to it. So we're gonna do a technical analysis for charge point. Let's see how it performed on Friday. So it ended up closing at $15.46, being down 0.58%. On the low, it tested $15.03, and then on the high, high testing $15.83. So when we take a look at the volume stats on the day, you can see we traded at 13.597 million shares and the average volume over 10 trading days is at 11.083 million shares. So we had above average volume on the day and we've seen a slight pullback in the stock. Now when we take a look at our chart, which is a daily chart, you can see from the RSI down below, it is at 59.43. And then when we take a look at our moving averages here on the chart, we we are below the 200 day but we are above the 21 day EMA and as well as the 50 day moving average and as you can see right away charge point has been on quite the uptrend ever since the 14th of June so knowing that we are seeing a bounce inside of the market if it continues for this coming week I want to see charge point get to that 200 day moving average at $17.53. I think this is very achievable for the stock, especially if the market continues to trend up. We also have to be aware of the fact we do have some resistance here right at $16. So if we can get a break above $16. That's why I'm saying it's very easy for us to get into that mid $17 range. But another thing we also want to pay attention to, we saw a low at $15.03. So if we decide to actually break through this low at $15.03 we can start testing all the way down here to around $14.30 so you just want to make sure you keep that in mind but I'm not seeing this unless we have a pullback inside of the market and if we end up having a bigger pullback that's where we want to see support kicking in right at the 21 day EMA at $13.30 and 80 cents. So if it wants to consolidate and build support there on a pullback, it still makes charge point look good. And I know a lot of traders would want to be watching this level, especially since we had our sell off back here. You can see on the seventh, we were at the top, the seventh and the eight. And then we came all the way down here to $12, but we had buyers who stepped in when the market started picking back up and we're on this run again. So that's why a slight pullback or even some consolidation would not be too bad whatsoever, but most preferably you want $15 a hold if you're looking for for a quick move up. But overall, in general, charge point is looking good. We had that 21 day EMA crossing above the 50 day moving average. It's looking bullish. Let's see what it does going into the coming week. Let's move on to the short interest information. So we're gonna take a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information for charge point. So green rows indicate new positions and red rows indicate closed positions. So when we take a look at the recent filings, let's take a look at the 23rd actually. So we have first trust long short equity ETF that has a short position of 137,351 shares and we have Fidelity Zero International Index Fund that purchased 52,335 shares and we have Fidelity Zero Extended Market Index Fund that purchased 39,887 shares so we see a good amount of activity and now when we take a look at the short interest the off exchange short volume ratios at 54.01 percent and then for the off exchange short volume it is just over 2.21 million shares Shares. Scrolling down on the page, the short shares availability is at 700,000, updated one minute ago. And then for the short borrow fee rate, it is at 5.47%. When we take a look at the history of the short volume, we can see for the close of the 23rd, it was at 51.27. And then for the close of the 24th, being at 54.01. So that is a significant increase right there. And then when we take a look at the short interest percentage of the float being at 17.86%, charge point 
does have short squeeze potential. Now let's move on to the order flow distribution. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for charge points. So we see on the inflow, it is at 18.51 million, and then on the outflow, it's at 22.15 million. So we had an outflow day. Taking a look at the breakdown, on the large, it is 4.12 million. On the medium, it was 8.18 million. And then on the small, it was 6.21 million. Taking a look at the outflow side, you can see on the large, it was 5.65 million. On the medium, it was 10.08 million. And then on the small, it was 6.42 million. Taking a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you can see for Friday on June the 24th, we had an outflow of negative 1.53 million. Analyzing the numbers even further for the small scale orders that tends to represent the retail side, you can see that we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at what happened on the medium, we had more selling than we had buying. And then for the large, which represents whales, institutions, and funds, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at the turnover ratio, it was at 4.04%. So this is not too bad for a stock like ChargePoint. It is a growth stock that sees a lot of volatility and we have a lot of uncertainty and fear inside of these markets. So that's why I'm saying for investors, this is not too bad at all. Now let's move on to the final thoughts and we'll go over some more details. So for my final thoughts for ChargePoint, when it comes to the price action, so we ended up seeing a high at $15.83. And why is this area significant? The main reason behind it, because we have resistance Resistance right at $16. Every time we get to this level, we tend to sell off. We have a pattern of having rejections. But if we are able to break above $16 for this coming week, where do I see charge point going? I want to see us getting to the 200 day moving average, which is around $17.50. This is very achievable, especially if the market continues to trend up. As far as for the low of the day, we ended up testing at $15.03. But here's what's interesting. Even if we decide to have a pullback to let's say around $14, charge point will still be fine because we do have the crossover in regards to the 21 day EMA crossing over the 50 day moving average. So this shows me it is bullish. There are a lot of bulls. The buyers are in control at the moment, but we can't forget the fact that we are in a bear market. So be aware of those areas that I talk about. So $14, as long as it can stay above that, I feel it would be completely fine. But if it ends up breaking through $14, that's where things start looking bearish for the play. But again, I still see charge point being able to move up for this week. So overall, you want to keep an eye on the market conditions because if it continues to trend up, I can see charge point moving in that direction. The moment we have a pullback, that's where you could take advantage of those moves to the downside, especially if it breaks below $14. Also, we went on Fintel, taking a look at the recent institutional ownership, we do see some activity, Fidelity buying up shares. And we also see an institution that took a short position as well. Again, this is just normal. No problems about that. We know that's going to happen. When we went to take a look at the short interest information, it does continue to have short squeeze potential. Many shorts are vested in this play. It has been running up quite a bit. It's had numerous pullbacks and the fact that it's recovered quite nicely, finding support around $12 and then going up on another run up to where it's at right now, I want to see that move to 16. If we get that break above 16, that's where we get that breakout. I know I sound like a broken record. Want to make sure that you guys add that to your notes, but make sure that you're following a strategy that is right for you. Do your due diligence, do your homework. And also for all of my investors out there, is this the price where you want to be paying for charge point? In my personal opinion, no. There's still a lot of fear. There's a lot of uncertainty in these markets. Hey, we are still in a bear market. We did have a strong bounce on the Friday, but it doesn't mean now it's a point where, you know what, we're going to start making moves to all time highs. We're not there yet. We're actually very far away from that. So I want to make sure you guys are keeping a leveled head and you're sticking to a strategy that is right for you. And whatever price that you decide to pay, you need to make sure if you are an investor and if it decides to pull back, you should feel confident enough to load up on the dip. If you're not going to be confident enough to load up on the dip, then do not invest in the play whatsoever. And before I close this video out, just to give you guys a quick update, ChargePoint did get a recent change in regards to their price target. And you know what? It still makes the stock look good. So the price target was cut from $32 a share down to $26 a share. So what does that mean? There's still upside in this play in regards to analysts one year year from now. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see how this stock performs going into Monday. We'll talk soon.